Hello, everybody. The year is 1941. It's an early December morning, and the smell of the sea is in the air. All seems peaceful until you look to the sky and see hundreds of Japanese aircraft barreling towards your position. If this story sounds familiar, it's very likely that you are a survivor of the attacks on Pearl Harbor, which was truly one of the days in American history. Shortly after the attack, there was a growing distrust towards Japanese Americans, mainly because white Americans are fucking stupid. And as a result, Executive Order 9066 was passed by FDR in February of 1942. This executive order called for all people with at least 1 16th Japanese ancestry to turn themselves in to be detained in internment camps. You know, in hindsight, detaining a massive group of people based on their ethnicity during the 1940s was optically a bad move. But who would have guessed that almost 100 years later that white people would be completely obsessed with that same culture they completely failed to understand? This is mainly due to the rising popularity of the Japanese cartoon style known as anime. Anime has been a huge part of my childhood ever since I was in the third grade. In fact, I still enjoy watching it. However, as America's youth becomes more terminally online, the popularity of anime increases as well. And many of these individuals are known as weebs. A weeb is a Western, non-Japanese person who is obsessed with Japanese culture. They desire to live in Japan and eat their yummy delicious food, for no good reason, they just like anime. Now, I don't really care all that much about weebs, they can do whatever they want, and I quite enjoy anime myself. However, weebs are super fucking annoying, especially when they start talking about anime. So I've decided to use my YouTube channel as an outlet, so I can complain about it and make money at the same time. Speaking of making money, I have merch. You know the drill. Link in the description for epic shirt and epic swag. And while you're at it, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know, who's your anime waifu? I gotta go with Jolene. She's the, she's the type of bitch that'll just ruin your fucking life. So I really don't have a structure for this video. It's just more me addressing things that I've heard echoed within the anime community. The first talking point is, Julia sometimes does things differently because Julia has autism. Anime is absolutely a cartoon and anyone who disagrees with this is extremely insecure. First off, there's there's nothing wrong with cartoons. Literally anyone is allowed to watch them. It's not like it's just for kids. I mean, shows like Family Guy and South Park prove this. But even then, I would say watching cartoons for kids is perfectly acceptable too. But whenever people reject the fact that they're two-dimensional, animated TV show isn't a cartoon, it makes me think they have very low self-esteem. Once again, there's nothing wrong with watching cartoons, but when you're opposed to that label, it indicates to me that you genuinely believe that there is something wrong with watching cartoons. When in reality, you actively enjoy them and consume them on a regular basis, yet you refuse to admit it. Showing that you feel the need to justify your enjoyment of anime as more than just a cartoon, as you attempt to deify this piece of media just because you have a deeper emotional connection to it, all while hiding behind the guise of being culturally accurate, which just makes you sound fucking pretentious. I saw this one article when doing research for this video, and it kind of really encapsulates the copium that many weebs are on. Most Westerners consider anime to be another form of cartoon. Nonetheless, Japan does not want anime to be considered as a form of cartoon. So first off, that's just a lie. The word anime is a Japanese word that refers to all animated media, regardless of ethnic origin. It's kind of like the dynamic between a rectangle and a square. All squares are rectangles, but not all rectangles are squares. And much like that, all anime are cartoons, but not all cartoons are anime. But even then, Japan not wanting something is, isn't convincing to me at all because they could be coping too. For example, the Japanese don't want the Chinese to be the dominant Asian race. Do you have an opinion on that? I don't think you should. I certainly don't. The graphics in manga and anime also tend to be more anatomically correct to the human body. This is one of the reasons why anime should not be considered as a cartoon. What the f- <laughs> what are you talking about? That's not a good reason at all. That makes no sense. Because like, first off, have you ever seen an anime character? Like, their eyes take up a third of their face, their nose is essentially non-existent, and they very rarely ever have lips. And as far as body proportions go, would you like actually look me in the eyes and say One Piece is more anatomically accurate than like Ben 10? Of course you wouldn't, that'd be fucking insane. The cope is unreal, and the funniest part about it is that it doesn't even really matter, but they still get upset at you nonetheless for calling their precious cartoons exactly what they are. Much like a five-year-old boy getting mad at you when you call his G.I. Joe action figure a doll. You get upset because it's true, and you don't want to admit it. You don't want to admit that you're a grown adult whose main hobby is watching cartoons. And separating anime from cartoons makes you feel better about yourself as it's more culturally complex and doesn't have the same connotations. Which is totally fine, by the way, but don't get mad at me when I call a spade a spade. Next up. Yeah, you might touch the finish line, but you've never touched a woman. You're right. There is a notion amongst weebs that manga is better than anime. Anyone who says this does not actually have a reason to believe this, 
Uh, mainly because there is no reason to believe this. First off, manga is expensive as shit. Maybe you think paying $10 for a paperback manga isn't that expensive, and maybe technically you're correct. But buying 20 volumes of a $10 manga is exponentially more expensive than just getting a streaming service that has the entire show as well as hundreds of others, all for like $12 a month. Now you may be saying, oh, you could just read them for free online. And I agree, you can also watch them for free online. Not to mention that some of you motherfuckers get manga just to collect them. Now a bookshelf with $3,000 worth of manga that does absolutely nothing but collect dust and repel bitches. You, sir, have won the internet. Not to mention the fact that watching anime is objectively a better experience. Especially when you're watching an anime with lots of, like, action and magic and special effects and all that. For me, I'd probably rather watch that in 24 frames with full color rather than just a black and white drawing of it. Maybe you genuinely prefer manga over anime. I don't really care. That's your business. Like, maybe you genuinely enjoy that media format better. But I rarely trust people when they say these things mainly because like everyone agrees with it and there is absolutely no way the entire anime community collectively agrees on something that's just not possible i feel like people repeat this sentiment not because they actually believe it but just because it makes them sound like smart and cultured oh the harry potter movie was good i like the book so much better though <laughs> shut the fuck up nerd. Oh yeah, one last thing. Manga always comes out before the anime does, so manga readers always know what's gonna happen in the show. And these people really enjoy posting spoilers in manga panels online for shows that are actively halfway through a season. And you're probably saying right now, oh, just don't engage with the online anime community if you don't want spoilers. No shit! What do you think I've done? I've completely disconnected from these people online because of this shit. I literally had to block one of these manga accounts because I was so sick of getting shows spoiled for me. It genuinely might be the worst part of like the anime community. Next up. Huh? I think she's right. You are retarded. I don't necessarily disagree with this sentiment because I'd probably say that any form of media being consumed in its authentic state is probably the most preferable way to do it. And I also think that a lot of English dubs are done horribly. What's your name? Ugh. You probably don't even want to talk to me. You're like the most popular girl in school. Like, I get it, okay? That shit absolutely sucks. But I'm more frustrated with the fact that everyone feels the need to bring it up like all the time. If anyone ever posts a clip from a dubbed anime, people just have to comment about how sub is better every time. Once again, we get into this hive mind thing that we saw with manga, where I feel like tons of people are just repeating the sentiment without actually believing it because it makes them seem like more cultured. The Japanese language is objectively the coolest language on the planet. I won't even deny that, but like, if there's an English dub that's well done, I'm obviously gonna watch that instead. I have no interest in reading subtitles if I don't have to. Obviously, reading subtitles is more preferential to hearing a dog shit dub, but I'm mainly just sick of the same regurgitated takes being fueled by the anime elitist echo chamber. Next up... Do you love black people? Sure, I love black people. Wow. Amazing. I think this is a very interesting discussion about anime, and it's a very popular one, too. We often talk about the ethnicity of these anime characters, even though it genuinely doesn't matter at all. And obviously when shows take place in Japan like Tokyo Ghoul or Death Note, obviously those characters are Japanese. And much like that when we have characters that are named Edward and Aaron, those characters are white, very obviously. But then you have people online that are dedicating time out of their day to argue whether or not Naruto is white or Japanese. In my opinion, the fact that Naruto has blonde hair and blue eyes, yet has a Japanese name, kind of makes me think that neither of them are true? 100% Japanese people cannot have blonde hair and blue eyes. It's not possible. Much like that, 100% white people cannot have a Japanese name. That's also impossible. And maybe the reason that these two facts about Naruto contradict each other is because... He isn't fucking real. Naruto is a 12 year old who can walk on water, he can walk up walls, oh yeah, and he has a giant fox demon inside of him. He is not a reflection of any reality at all. Oh well how do you explain the fact that they all speak Japanese, and their names are Japanese, and their culture reflects Japanese culture? Huh, that's a good question. Maybe it's because this show is made by Japanese people. Hey guys, I'm not sure if you're aware, uh, this character's not real. There's nothing real. This is a fucking drawing. When any person creates a story, most of the time, not always, it will reflect the culture that they understand most because that's what normal people do. The conversation around race is just, it's super fucking dumb. If somebody thinks Deku from My Hero Academia is white, they are objectively wrong. But also, who cares? I certainly don't. Oh, it seems like you care enough to bring it up. No, I don't give a shit about the characters' races. They can be fucking green for all I care. I just want everyone to shut the fuck up. Next up. Go to the bathroom and take a shit. I can smell you. 
Not yet. You're shitting yourself. Poop is coming out of your hey. fucking asshole. I'm not here to make the claim that Naruto is better than Goku or Goku is better than Naruto. Mainly because that conversation is really stupid. And that's kind of the main thing I want to talk about here. As I just mentioned earlier, these characters are not real. It's totally normal to discuss a fictional show, talk about the dynamics of characters, predictions for the future, and like who your favorites are and all that. That is totally normal and I do it all the time. But then you have people that have these stupid fucking conversations that don't, that don't matter at all. Goku solos Naruto. Naruto solos Goku. Guys, you're you're arguing over imaginary people right now. B fucking get it together. These two characters are not in the same show. They're not in the same universe, and they will never canonically meet and fight. On top of that, these characters do not exist, so there's no way to actually solve the argument. There's no way to gauge their power levels or how one is better than the other. People make arguments for one character over the other because of how they feel, not based on any like fact or reality, because there are no facts in reality in these discussions. Once again, it's totally fine to engage with a story or a character and try to understand them better. But when you start debating random strangers online over fictional characters having a fictional battle based on your arbitrary perception of the power differences of characters that are fictional you need to get some bitches next up Alex, what the fuck are you doing did you just come in your sister yeah i'll bet your sweet bippy i did this guy kind of reminds me of a boston cream donut filled with vomit it looks nice on the outside, but once you start consuming it, you feel a deep level of disgust oftentimes hentai contains things that i can't say on youtube like baba boy or yeah. not to mention how common tears and blood are or what about that epic gamer moment when you're watching a harem themed hentai and then out of nowhere a girl who looks like she's six walks in because they all need to have that for some reason it sucks because oftentimes the art and women featured in these are quite attractive and nice to look at the problem is is that 95 percent of it is degenerate niche shit that i don't like in fact women getting yeah. in hentai is so common that i had to start watching ntr don't look that up, by the way, because at least I can find a decently animated NTR, skip through all the depressing cuckold parts, and find a woman who's actually enjoying herself. People who say they love hentai, especially the degenerate stuff, with no complaints about what's in it, need to stay far away from me and any woman that I love. In all seriousness, I think the anime community is... Okay, just because there's certain talking points that annoy me or certain cringe lords that I dislike, that doesn't mean the entire community is bad. In fact, there's lots of great people that I've met in the anime community. A lot of people find joy in anime and the community surrounding it, and that's cool. Especially considering it's a piece of foreign media that gives us a glimpse into the creative differences of non-Western cultures. And ultimately, as long as you don't have an anime profile picture, you're cool with me. Like the video, subscribe for sex, and give me money. Take care, guys.